on today is day 16 and we covered the DOM uh, 1. It was basically dealing with the document object model and the tree that comes along with it and we learned a bunch of different methods uh, to select different elements on the uh, HTML page, the rendered HTML. And uh, this was a little bit difficult for me since I haven't worked with uh, DOM manipulation in a long time. Been writing like React, so uh, usually <laughs> React handles most of it. Um, also learned about HTML collections, node lists, array, and then something new as well called DOM token lists. I've never heard of that before until today, or maybe I have and just forgotten. And I really enjoyed the lesson today. It was really challenging. And the challenge itself was just basically selecting different elements and then putting styles and different um, uh, things on them. Today was day 17 and we covered the DOM part 2. And we were dealing with event listeners and just adding different um, properties as we select different elements in the DOM. And then we also played with uh, a library called GSAP, which is GreenSock, and it helps you do really cool animations and everything. Um, I had a good time today. It wasn't as difficult as yesterday doing DOM traversal. Um, most things worked out like I expected them to, and we were just playing a lot with the um, different events that you can have, like mouse overs, uh, change window size and that kind of thing. I made a cool little keyboard press where it will actually pop you out to, to YouTube on another separate tab. So um, that was it for today and uh, hopefully I can get more experience with GreenSock because it looks like it has a lot of potential. Alright, so that was day 18 and today we covered components part 1 and it wasn't too difficult today conceptually. If you are familiar with classes and um, just you're different, using different selectors to pick up DOM elements, it's not too bad. Uh, what's new in this lesson is basically having a little factory that churns out different um, uh, elements for you. So say like you have a button and then you want to make other buttons as well. You would pop it into this class constructor, constructor and then it would come out with these different um, uh, properties on it as well. Like if you wanted to add an add event listener to each of them, that's what you would do. Uh, the homework wasn't too bad either. It was uh, basically what we did in class and uh, I finished it up pretty quickly so I had some extra time to play around with GreenSock which is an animation uh, library for JavaScript. Today is day 19 and we finished uh, components part 2. It was basically the same as yesterday except we're adding another class and today what we're doing is that instead of just um, making properties and methods for one class we're adding on to another class so it can be more modular and I had an, some problems initially um, just because I didn't understand the instructions too well and then after I got used to it and learning the syntax and practicing it targeting the specific things that you need to um, it got a lot easier back then uh, by then I mean and then after uh, that we had the homework and that wasn't too bad either it was very similar to the exercise that we did in class and um, it took me a little bit of time but I eventually got it and I even got to try some of the animations with green sock um, and that's about it today and I feel pretty good I just need to look over my notes just to review make sure I got the syntax and the order of everything correctly Hey everyone, so today completes day 20 of uh, Lambda School and uh, we just finished our sprint challenge today. It was basically what we learned earlier this week, um, components and working with uh, different DOM uh, and manipulating it. Uh, the sprint challenge wasn't too difficult in itself. I think there were one or two points that were very confusing if um, you didn't have a solid grasp of the concept, otherwise it was pretty good. and. I finished that and I was able to get to the stretch challenge. It's like an extra challenge that you don't really have to um, fulfill. It's kind of just extra. And I was able to add an animation to a carousel. Um, other than that, I've been using libraries to make carousels, but this one was making one from, I guess, from scratch with using JavaScript. So that was pretty challenging. 
Um, I got it to work, but green stock has this little weird behavior for some reason. So I'm gonna uh, work on it some more here. And uh, overall, it was a pretty good week, and I enjoyed learning this week. Looking forward to uh, project week next week, where we'll have basically three or four days to basically build out a website. So that should be interesting.